Hi, I'm Carol Andrews for another episode of Southwest TV News. Here are some of the stories coming up on today's show. Another summer season is in full swing. And as we all enjoy more time outdoors, safety should be top of mind when it comes to food preparation. Over the past several weeks, work crews have been on site at the Elmwood Golf Course in Swift Current. The start of a seven-year process, which will see the course fully revamped by 2021. As we head into the second week of July, ongoing cool temperatures combined with heavy rain in recent weeks have left many crops behind schedule in development here in the Southwest. Thanks for joining us here today. Food poisoning is a common occurrence throughout the summer months, and health officials are reminding you to take a few precautions. Another summer season is in full swing, and as we all enjoy more time outdoors, safety should be top of mind when it comes to food preparation. And whether you're cooking for yourself or for a large crowd, here's a few hints to keep in mind. Very frequently during summer months, we get phone calls from people who have had, uh, you know, food poisoning. Either they bought something uh, on the highway and then left it in the car as they were driving for two, three, four hours and then ate it again. And, you know, it was in, in either in the trunk and in, in, in the heat, you know. Things like that will definitely give you food poisoning. The other frequent... Um, uh, call and, and, and consults we get are with people, especially with things like hamburgers. Um, when you're going to uh, barbecue, don't take a hamburger right from the freezer and put it onto the barbecue. You know, you, you might cook it and it looks good on the outside, but inside it might not be well cooked, you know, and, and burger meat, even though it's in the freezer, still potentially has bacteria on them. The freezer just slows down the growth. So you could easily have, have them, you know, causing illness that way. Along with ensuring all food is kept hot or cold at the appropriate temperature, general hygiene is also crucial. Hand wash with everything, you know, before a meal, after a meal, after going to the washroom, uh, when you're touching multiple surfaces, our hands are notorious. They're always touching, you know, opening doors and things like that, shaking hands with people. So it's very easy to pick up uh, microorganisms through those methods. So yes, frequent and proper hand washing is, is key because, you know, some people put their hands under the tap for two seconds and say, yeah, I washed my hands, that's not a hand wash. By taking a few simple precautions, you can avoid a trip to the emergency room this summer and spend more time enjoying the sights and sounds of the season. Southwest TV News is hitting the road with our annual Summer Around the Southwest Tour, covering a variety of exciting events across the region. The Southwest TV News Summer Around the Southwest Tour is proudly brought to you by Innovation Credit Union. Imagine the possibilities. The Elmwood Golf Course in Swift Current is planning for the future with extensive upgrades to its 18-hole fairway. We have more in this report. Over the past several weeks, work crews have been on site at the Elmwood Golf Course in Swift Current. The start of a seven-year process, which will see the course fully revamped by 2021 with the assistance of a world-renowned designer. We've hired uh, Mr. Les Ferber and he's going to be um, renovating our golf course. The, the main things we wanted to concentrate on the golf course was redoing our 18 greens. Um, in doing so, we wanted to, to you know, make the course a little bit longer you know, with technology and, and that kind of stuff with golf balls, golf clubs. We wanted to make the course a little bit longer. Uh, we wanted to eliminate some of the blind shots on our golf course uh, to make it easier for non-golfers. So, you know, Mr. Les Ferber, he's, he's designed hundreds of golf courses around the world. You know, he's world renowned. He's got a lot of um, golf courses that he's designed in the top 50 in Canada. So he knows what he's doing. And, and when he came and looked at our property and our golf club, he, 
he loved it and, and he had a lot of great ideas. An expansion which will coincide with a partnership with the city as it develops 71 new residential lots in this north end of the community. Those 71 lots will branch across the 18th fairway, across the current 18th and 17th fairways out onto the 16th hill. Project's going to cost anywhere from 2.4 to 2.6 million. We're going to get about a 1.4 million dollar kickback from the city. So, uh, you know, Elmwood Golf Club is going to be, you know, about a million dollars is what it's going to cost Elmwood to, to redo the uh, the, all 18 greens, which is an amazing deal. Um, currently, Elmwood doesn't own the land. Um, all we own is the clubhouse and the parking lot. And so really, it's the Swift Current, city of Swift Current's land um, that Les Ferber is going to be developing. So that's why we needed to have a partnership with the city of Swift Current. And as patrons deal with the temporary challenges of golfing around the on-site construction, these upgrades could lead to hosting higher scale golf tournaments in the future. Once we get our yardage up to, um, you know, where it's going to be, we're going to be we're going to be able to host bigger events. But that's not really is irrelevant. Regardless, we had to uh, improve this the greens on the golf course, and so that that's what we've done. But we've tied it into making it a little bit longer, making it potentially a little tougher from back tee boxes, but also making it easier for the beginner golfers by taking out. Uh, water, you know, going over the water, taking out hidden tee shots, that, that kind of thing. The Elmwood Golf and Country Club opened in 1919 and boasts a membership of approximately 400 and is one of the key amenities offered for tourists and local residents of Swift Current. Another exciting season of Market Square returns to downtown Swift Current, featuring live entertainment, fresh garden produce, crafts, and other unique vendors. Market Square, every Saturday at the corner of Central and Chaplin. Presented by Standard Motors, in partnership with Innovation Credit Union and Southwest TV News. Following several weeks of cool, wet conditions across the province, crop development is behind schedule. We bring you all the details in this report. As we head into the second week of July, ongoing cool temperatures combined with heavy rain in recent weeks have left many crops behind schedule in development here in the southwest. According to crop reporters for the province, producers across the region will be hoping for Mother Nature to cooperate in the coming days. Everything is a little bit behind, uh, but certainly the majority are at the, the normal developmental stages for this time of year. Uh, you know, the sun in the last couple of days is really helping things grow a lot. Uh, for the most part, crops are in good condition as well. Uh, certainly there are some that are in fair, uh, particularly in the areas that are a little bit drier. Um, so heading towards, you know, Maple Creek and even south of there, uh, we've had reports from our uh, crop reporters anyway that things, you know, aren't looking as great as maybe the rest of the region. Uh, we certainly need some sunshine, <laughs> some heat, uh, you know, even some windy days, uh, even though wind, you know, isn't really helping us for some of those in-crop herbicide applications, but it'll certainly help those fields dry up so that guys can get back out into the field. And along with excessive moisture, insects are also posing a concern in some areas. Uh, certainly some grasshoppers coming up. Uh, we're still getting reports of cutworms out there on uh, canola crops. Um, certainly some early season diseases are out there as well. Uh, we have root rots, like I mentioned. Um, you know, starting to get some, some leaf spot, some septoria, and uh, net blotch on the barley and those sorts of things. Uh, you know, soon with, with all the moisture we've had, you know, it'll certainly be a year uh, conducive to sclerotinia. Uh, hopefully not fusarium in the southwest. Sclerotinia is on canola. We've actually had high levels the last couple of years. And, and even though the southwest doesn't grow as much canola, you know, it's certainly something to look out for. And with extensive rainfall across the southeast and east central portions of the province, a total crop loss is likely for many producers. Quite the opposite to the widespread bumper crop recorded across Saskatchewan last year. The short term forecast for southwest Saskatchewan is calling for sunshine with temperatures in the mid to high 20 degree range.
Well, this brings to a close another episode of Southwest TV News, reporting the stories that matter to you. We always welcome your news tips. You can always reach us here by phone at our studio or by email to contact us at southwesttvnews.com. Also, be sure to join us daily online for the latest news from across southwest Saskatchewan and so much more at mylocaltv.ca. And be sure to follow us on a range of social media. Thanks for joining us here today. I'm Carol Andrews.